Hey there, welcome to another episode of Cooking with Violet Vixen. It's starting to get a bit colder, so wearing a jumper and looking for comfort food. So what better way to do comfort food than with a casserole? And this one's really easy. It's called a lemon and garlic chicken casserole. Here's what we need. I've just been slicing and dicing and weighing and preparing everything. Uh, it is supposed to be a stove top into the stove recipe. However, I was in my kitchen this morning, I don't know, half asleep probably, and looked up and saw my, um, what we haven't used for ages, an electric frying pan. What is an electric frying pan? It's basically an oven that does all of that that I just said we're going to do. So I'm not going to be using the oven today. I'm going to do 100% in the electric frying pan. I just had to get it down and give it a bit of a dust because honestly, it's been a long time since it's been used. And I've got to start using some of these things up because they're cluttering the kitchen. So now that you know what we're going to do, come on in and I'll show you what we've got. All right, so you guys that are older, that are watching me, you may have all um, years ago all had what we used to call the electric frying pan. This is a Sunbeam brand, of course. Uh, one of my mama's prizes from many, many moons ago. Um, we used to use it quite a bit if we was doing things like this because this one's a lot longer. I've got another one which is narrower but deeper. Um, does the similar thing. But the best thing with this is, okay, I don't know what the temperature is on it, but I can guess just by doing it that way. I thought this one had temperatures on it, but I'll just work it out from... Um, like it's one to ten so it can't be that hard um the ingredients are as follows we need one tablespoon of olive oil eight chicken drumsticks they're in a bag i'll get those out soon a quarter of a cup of plain flour just about to measure that out one leek trimmed washed and sliced that is soaking in some water 250 grams of cup mushrooms thickly sliced yum three garlic cloves finely chopped they're not finely chopped but they're chopped one and a half cups of chicken stock i've gone with the stock powder which i've made up so at the moment i've got the veja vegeta brand chicken stock uh, low in sodium good to know one lemon juiced, got a lot of juice out of that lemon, which is awesome. And 200 grams of green beans trimmed and cut into thirds. Hey, the joy of frozen green beans, they are what we needed. That's, they're ready to go. Uh, said um, electric frying pan, if you're not going to do it this way, you will need your stove top with a frying pan and a casserole dish and your oven will need to be on 200 degrees so it's quite hot it's going to cook for an hour so this may take not as long doing it in this but who's to say i don't want to say yes or no um so being the silicony stuff i can't use anything that's going to scratch so i'm just going to use this spoon got tongs for the chicken because we're going to get those in and then get them out we're going to mix the chicken with the flour in here and a plate for taking that out all right so let's jump straight into it because um, it's fairly straightforward it's it's basically just get everything in and go so give your frying pan slash um electric frying pan a spray pop that away it's also taking up a lot of my bench space but everything does at the moment so it's all good i'm going to leave it there mainly because that way it's got lots of ventilation around it um 
so with the drumsticks, they are in this bag. I got eight of them, which is what we needed anyway. So nothing over fancy here. Uh, I shouldn't need to wash them because I just got them yesterday. So I'm going to just pop them straight in here. No, they should be fine. I'm always a bit iffy about chicken. Mama always used to say, make sure you cook chicken well, make sure you store it well. So there you go. So that they are nice big ones. All right, so we're going to chuck a quarter of a cup of flour over the top of them and give them a bit of a toss. Chicken doesn't really smell nice at the best of times, to be honest, unless it's cooked, of course. All right, say bye to that. All right, we're going to get the tablespoon of oil into the frying pan. Once I get everything in, I'll move you in closer so you can have a squizzy at what's going on. But look at the size of that. We're going to easily get the aid in there, which was why I chose this, because normally when I go to use a frying pan, everything's small in it anyway. All right. So we want it fairly hot. Turn it on at the wall, duh. All right, so I'm going to do it on about eight. Okay, I'm just going to give my hands a quick wash. Keep your hands as clean as you can while you're cooking. It's either that or wear gloves, and gloves annoy the shit out of me. Ow. All right. So does this crazy bloody autumn, very early autumn weather. We have one really hot day, and then it just goes so cold that I'm literally wearing a jumper today. That's all good, though. It's my lazy day. On my lazy day, which I'm going to call Sundays from now on, um, it's the day where I sort of say, oh, I'd like to cook that. That looks like a good dinner for the day. All right, so just toss them in the flour and in they go. Try and coat them as well as you can. All right, so we're not fully cooking them we're just browning them okay See, I've got a lot of flour stuck down the side there and I don't really want the flour left over all right the last ones in. So the good thing with this is you can top and tail them, which is literally what I'm doing right now, by the way. If you've got any flour left over, probably use it at the end because it might help thicken it. Or not. Maybe just chuck it over the top of everything. All right, look at that, beautiful. All right, another hand wash. I hate the flour on my hands. But I'd probably go through too many gloves if I was using the gloves as well, so can't really win on that. All right, yeah, get stuck. Okay. Come on in nice and close. All right, you can just see they're looking good. I'm going to turn them over. Oh, look at that. Yum. I haven't had chicken drumsticks for ages, so I'm actually really looking forward to this. All right. Now, if you're unfortunate enough like me to have a kitchen without an um, exhaust fan, don't ask me why I don't have one. I haven't had one for the whole time I've lived here. Uh, you may create quite a bit of a steam, so make sure you've got your windows open. All right, just turn them over. 
We're not cooking them, we're just browning them. All right. All right, I'll be back when I'm ready to lift these out. Okay, even though they're still a bit pink, I'm still going to lift them out because we're not cooking them, we're just browning them. All right, they smell good already. Okay, once these are out, set these aside. Next up, we want to add the leek, which I'm just going to quickly drain. I forgot to say, if you're going to do what I did with this, you'll need a colander. Just sometimes when you've got the leeks, they've got a lot of um, dirt in them. All right. Beautiful. In she goes. Add the lake. Add the mushrooms. And add your garlic. Did I tell you at the beginning this serves four? I had it written down anyway, but this does serve four. So obviously two drumsticks per person would be the desired amount. All right. So we're just going to stir this for a while. For five minutes or until soft. So I'll see you in a few minutes. All right, I'm going to leave it at that. In goes the lemon juice. And in goes the chicken stock. Bring it to the boil. What we want to do, we've got a little bit of stuff in there. Stuff being stock powder. So I'm just going to use a mushroom get that out all right beautiful okay bring it to the boil which obviously won't take long because there it is now and then we're going to put the drumsticks back on top so basically get the drumsticks back in the way we had them and remove the spoon for a little while and this is why I say the beauty of this one, because I've got plenty of room. They're not going to be all on top of each other, like little sardines. Beautiful. That way around. And last one. Okay, so they're all in. Like good little sausages. Okay. We are going to cover and place in the oven, which no, I'm not, and we're going to cook for an hour. So we want it at a good high heat, but we don't want it too high. I'm going to pop the lid on. And I might just turn it down to maybe halfway with mine. You'll have yours in the oven at one, at 200. So in about half an hour, I'm going to check in and see what it's looking like. And I'll check in with you and let you know how it's looking. So see you in half an hour. Bye. Okay, so I was getting a bit worried about the fact that the, um, the liquid was dissolving. So I popped a bit of extra water in there. And I've um, flipped them over. So they've had half an hour. So they are starting to look good. You can see they're really bubbling away. So I'm going to give them another half an hour with the lid on. And we'll be back soon. And that's when we pop the green beans in. So see you in about half an hour. Okay, so my buzzer's gone off for an hour. 
I'm just going to have a little squeezy at it. If you can start to see your drumsticks um, going like this, where they're crumbling, that means that they're very likely to be done. So I would say this is done. Smells amazing. I'm just going to turn them over once more. They haven't um, gone dry, which is good. At least we've still got a little bit of sauce with them. All right, so now that we're at this stage, what we want to do is pop the beans in. So sprinkle those over the top. They're still frozen. Obviously, in warmer weather, they wouldn't be. I'm going to pop the lid back on and I'm going to turn them off. So make sure we turn everything off. We want to leave it sit for five minutes or until the beans are very tender. So I'll be back in five minutes and hopefully we'll be able to dish up. And there we have it. This has been Cooking with Violet Vixen Lemon and Garlic Chicken Casserole. I really hope you enjoy this one. You can serve it with some mashed potato or some um, crusty bread rolls if you like. I'm just going to have mine as is. And I'll catch you on our next adventure soon. Bye.